So I'm back. The one right here on the left is uh, the Fiji bulb anemone and the one on the right is... What's up guys, it's Hugh with Prolific Breed. I wanted to do a quick update on this tank. Everything's kind of growing out and looking really good. I still have um, algae outbreaks here and there. But I think that's normal. I just dosed this tank with uh, Phosphate RX and letting things run through. But here's my rack so far. This is all right here. It's just taking off and I put plugs all around it. It's growing onto the plugs and kind of expanding. All of the Zoas are. But this whole tank's a mess right now. I originally put in some sand and I'm in the process of um, removing the sand. Um, with my weekly um, water changes but for this video I wanted to give you guys a heads up about the bubble tip uh, anemones I went on live aquaria to pick up a green one again and they only had one picture up and it looked green but the description does not say that it's green and they had three choices um, one from Indonesia and one from Fiji and they didn't provide any pictures or anything like that. So I ended up ordering both. Ordered one from Fiji and one from Indonesia. So the Indonesian one was a little more expensive, like 44 bucks. And the Fiji one was like 39. So like four or five dollars more. So this one right here, it says Central Pacific and this one right here says Eastern Asia. They're still acclimating but I'm going to get them out the bag and then um, share with you guys what the difference looks like and kind of have this up on YouTube so future customers can reference. So I'm back. The one right here on the left is a uh, the Fiji bulb anemone and the one on the right is the Indonesia um, when you're buying on live aquaria this one right here it doesn't say anything about being green it just says bulb anemone Indonesia no Fiji bulb anemone Fiji and this one says bulb anemone um, Indonesia but it has green in um, parentheses, I guess. But this one looks very green. This one looks like it has green stems and the tips are white. But when I just dropped it into the tank, it was totally white. <laughs> so it's starting to color up and I believe it should continue coloring up. At least I hope so. So I'm just going to leave them alone and let them um, kind of acclimate in here. But I'm going to leave them in the Lee's breeder box. It's just a floating um, breeder box that I used for guppies before. And I repurposed it for my lagoon. So I don't want them like all over the, the tank and kind of getting on the other corals. So here's the top view. I don't want them getting on the other corals and I still need to set up my Red Sea Reefer 350. Uh, I've been kind of lagging on that and kind of hesitating to fire it up because it, it, it has been um, kind of cold here in California. So I might wait till spring to fire that tank up, but here's the anemones. I might turn this Lagoon 25 into an anemone tank and move all of the corals out of this tank to grow in the Red Sea Reefer because I'm just starting to run out of room. Um, the Zoas are expanding and everything else is expanding too. Like these mushrooms right here, when I picked them up it was just like one head and they're popping out little babies here and there. <laughs> That's my dog and you see the candy cane, the heads are like multiplying. 
some things are doing well, others are kind of just surviving. But the Zoa right here is just taking off. Stylo and Bird's Nest. And the Pickle Pick. Cleopora, something like that. But yeah, this tank goes through ebbs and flows, <laughs> looking like trash and then clearing up and then looking like trash again. But uh, I might be building a refugium, hang on back refugium to kind of combat the the nitrates, nitrates and um, phosphates and things like that, like a Chato reactor. That's all in the work, so stay tuned for more videos, guys. Here are the bubble tips again. Uh, the Indonesia looks like it's starting to expand into actual bubble tips. This one right here looks kind of skinny and stringy. But I'll, I'll be sure to update you guys with more videos as time comes. But. Yeah, I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.